the limited quantity provisions of the IMDG code. Dangerous goods packed in a limited quantity compliant combination package benefit from relaxations to the packaging testing and segregation requirements of the IMDG code. To determine whether a specific UN number can be packed in limited quantities, we must make reference to column 7A. If a quantity is given, this is the maximum quantity limit for each inner packaging or article. If a zero is given, this identifies that the UN number concerned must not be transported in limited quantities. Goods must be packed in inner packagings and these in turn must be packed in an outer packaging to form a combination package. Inner packagings are not required for articles. Typically fiberboard boxes that are not UN tested but meet the UN construction requirements are used for this purpose. But any outer packaging that meets the provisions of chapter 6.1.4 may be used. Different dangerous goods in limited quantities may be packed in the same outer package, provided they do not react dangerously with each other and they comply with the general segregation provisions of Chapter 7.2. The total gross mass of the combination package must not exceed 30 kilograms or 20 kilograms for shrink and stretch wrapped trays. Each package must be marked with the limited quantity mark and for combination packages containing liquids with orientation arrows on two opposite sides. Overpacks containing limited quantity goods for which the marks are not visible must in turn be marked with the limited quantity mark, the word overpack and orientation arrows if required. For the completed package, except for explosives, the segregation provisions do not apply between limited quantity packages and packages of fully regulated dangerous goods. This is an example of a package prepared to the limited quantity provisions. You'll note it has a mark which looks a little bit like a blacked out hazard label. This is known as the limited quantities mark and must be displayed on the side of the package. The package itself, the combination package, must be no more than 30 kilograms gross weight and for shrink wrapped and stretch wrapped trays must be no more than 20 kilograms. The inner packagings also do not have to be UN approved but they must not exceed the capacity given in column 7a of the dangerous goods list. For liquids, the outer package must also display this way up marks on two opposite sides.